I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. Sniper! They found me. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona! She had woken me up. She had come and gone, and now I was being shot at. I had to catch her, find out what was going on. They jammed the elevator. Something was barring the door from the other side. I've called the police. They're coming to take you away. One's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. I didn't want to shoot. He gave me no choice. This is my home. I have a right to defend it. Okay, let's see that shotgun. Come in. Thank you. My pleasure. Hoodlums, this used to be a nice neighborhood. He was trespassing. You saw it. Used to be a time when you didn't have to lock your door. Lock the door, don't open it for anyone but the police.
Cleaners have hit the building. I'm the target. They've come in numbers. I need help. Max? Okay, hang on. We're My on our lady, way. We'll get you out. Hurry. My lady, this is a surprise finding you here. Were you looking for me by chance? My lord, I... I was... Oh, this is so difficult. My lady? My lord, I came to see you, but now that I am here, I can see that this was a dreadful mistake. My lady, no. Surely I... My lord, I should go. Should anyone see us together, your reputation would be ruined. My lady, stay. My lord, please, forgive me. My lady! After the break, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies. After dirty business, come clean with us. Dial 555-CLEAN. That's 555-CLEAN. Kaufman wants us taken care of. Let's just find a guy so we can off him and go home. Know what this is? The finale. The climax before the credits roll. Pay! Ah! Shoot! Such a nice young man, coming to see an old lady like me. Just passing through, ma'am. Such a nice boy. Not like the ones upstairs. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip, but it's all better now. You should take them. You look a bit pinched, dear. They're in the bathroom. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I've heard them talking in the corridor. Peeping toms. Oh, I remember sunlit days in the countryside with my Ben. Or was that something I saw on TV? I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They had been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Just give me your credit card number and I can listen to you all night. 
killing them all only made it worse. It didn't bring them back. Hey, what are you, some kind of weirdo? Sorry, this was... Sorry. The building trembled as in a seizure. The sound of an explosion came from the direction of my apartment. I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. They're crazy. Hell, they want to clean up. He's saving me. They barred the door from the outside. These are terrible times. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Any other way out? Up the roof, maybe. With the pigeons. You need the code to the seventh floor. Ed knows it. <laughs> you know Ed, the janitor. Poor Ed. These crazy cleaners have invaded his turf. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. <laughs> Neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah. I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. In our headlights, fair and bleak. 
Mm -hmm. On the asphalt. Mm -hmm. It's not the same thing. I'm telling you. Welcome back to our re Turn to Sender Marathon. Two days and two nights of the 90s cult series. All the episodes in a row. A real descent to madness. I was lost in the streets of Noir York. The city had swallowed Mira and my girlfriend. I was part of some elaborate game, complex for its own sake. <laughs> Every time I looked over my shoulder, I saw a shadow disappearing behind the corner. With a glint of binoculars in a window, they were spying on me, following my every move. When Mira killed again, the map of the city changed. Like a shifting glacier, a new crack appeared with every gunshot. I had abandoned all conventional methods of navigation, I was following the bloody signs he kept leaving me, and he was watching me do it.
The explosion in my apartment had started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. Mona had come through here, the dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. Open the door! Somebody! I, I'm gonna <coughs> oh, 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 bless you. I, I owe you one. This is where the fun starts. Yeah, no sweat. <clears throat> Used to be on a job. <laughs> I was a cop like you. All right, follow my lead. Yeah, <laughs> I was a cop. <laughs> Cost me my marriage. Long hours. He was terrified something would happen to me. I busted my hump. She up and left me. Ah, sure. Started hitting the bottle? <laughs> Anyone would have. <laughs> My boss busted me for drinking. <laughs> Set the rat squad loose on me. Well, that was the end of that. The gas from the broken pipe was feeding the flames. Blame the system. I couldn't get through. Bunch of, a bunch of hypocrites. Goddamn slime bags open up! There are people trapped in here! Oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door! You coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor, if you can kill the flames. A girl's gotta protect herself. I'm Violet. Violet, baby. <laughs> I'm your man. <laughs> In your dreams, Juicehead. You gotta get me out of this. Your place of mine, huh? <laughs> hey, I was talking to Handsome here. Uh, I feel like more sir. of them. The gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. Pay! 
Hey, you do your job, and afterwards, maybe I'll do mine. I'll cover you from here. They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cogniti, is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners, I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence, but that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. 
Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. has a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at a joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. Funhouse is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? John Mira. Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. I was behind the backdrops, getting warm.
When I had first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. They must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. Lords and Ladies brought to you in part by Gold Touch Brandy. Going somewhere, little brother? My Lord Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you... Are you spying on me? Hardly conduct fit for a Lord? Not so, if the other one is no Lord to begin with. It is not I whose actions are in question here, Valentine. Where do you think you are going at this ungodly hour? Who put you up to this shameful errand? Mama? Leave our parents out of this. Papa, the esteemed Sheriff of York, was well on his way to recovery from the consumption when the news of you carrying on with that wench, a pirate's daughter, no less, brought about his relapse. Border dash! Soon Papa will be dead because of you. And I will be the head of the family continue seeing her at your own peril. Are you threatening me, my lord? I will cut you off, Valentine. That and worse. I bid you good night, brother. That and worse, brother. <laughs> that and worse. The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. Americans Avenger 9mm handgun when it's too late to protect your loved ones. No! 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 Americans Avenger for the payback time. To order now, call 555-GUN, and you will receive a year's worth of ammunition absolutely free. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh. Mark's heat is barked. Oh, baby. Oh. Max Heat and Laura Norder in Max Heat 7. Late night adult entertainment after midnight. Pleased to meet you, dearest of all my friends. Allow me to introduce myself. And we I am Vladimir Lane. I invite you to the grand opening of my restaurant, Vodka. Come, make a scene. You will be seen. Clear as vodka. Vodka. Style, grace, and taste. Opening soon. Who's the man with nothing to lose? And we keep driving. That's right. It's a late goodbye. Such a late goodbye. And we keep driving into the night. Such a late goodbye. Now I'll tell you one thing, Mona. You're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you?
Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. 